Hey everybody, welcome to Dog Oracle. Today we'll take a look at the five different types of German Shepherds. Make sure to watch until the end of this video to know more about their differences and similarities of these amazing dogs. But before we start, please subscribe and click the notification bell to be notified when we release more amazing dog videos like this one. So, let's get this rolling. Do you want to learn more about the various German Shepherd varieties? Then you can stop looking as you've come to the right place. We'll go over the five different types of German Shepherds and the two major groups that cover them, as well as the characteristics of each. Originating in Germany, the German Shepherd is a medium to large-sized dog breed. They were originally trained and became popular as shepherds and patrol dogs during wars. They are considered as one of the best dog breeds due to their protective and obedient nature, as well as their high intelligence, which makes them easier to train. German Shepherds have two major groups or lines with five different types based on the dog's heritage and how they were bred for a specific purpose. The first line is the show line. They were specifically meant for dog shows. They were bred primarily to achieve a specific body type, color, and pattern of coloration. Their teeth have been perfectly aligned and their hair, length, weight, and bone angles should be perfect to produce a physically perfect German Shepherd. Working lines, on the other hand, are bred for personality and health rather than perfection. They have an athletic build that is ideal for constant work. They have larger heads and bones and their tails should be at the proper angulation. Working lines, as the name implies, are always ready to work. They are never idle and are always active. With this, we can say that German Shepherds under the show lines excel in dog shows, while those that belong in the working line excel in physical activities. Now let's move on to the five different types of German Shepherds. Number one on the list would be the West German Working Line German Shepherds. The West German Working Line is the prime example of the German Shepherd breed as temperament first, looks second. They were the breed that Max von Stefanitz, the German Shepherds breed's founder, considered to be true dogs. They have a stable temperament and their strong drive combined with a calm attitude result in excellent working ability. They were bred to have high pain tolerance which increased their value as working dogs. West German working lines are known for their high quality and desire to please their owners. They also have a lot of energy, which means they have a lot of prey drive. As a result, German Shepherds of this type perform better in situations where they are doing what they're supposed to do and if this is not met, they may become bored which may lead to destructive behavior. This type usually comes in a uniformly black body and brown legs, but they may also have various colors such as sable, bicolor, and tan. It has a more sloping back and more health issues than East German Working Line German Shepherds. Having them as pets is possible, but it may necessitate a bit more effort and commitment because these hardworking dogs require a variety of activities to quench their physical and mental thirst. Running and giving them a purpose are important ways to keep their energy levels up. Number 2 would be West German Show Line German Shepherds. German Shepherds from the West German Show Line are the most beautiful because they were bred following the German Shepherd breed standard. Their movements are graceful and their intelligence allows them to be easily trained. They have a sloped body and are available in a variety of colors and combinations, including black and red saddles, bicolors, black, and tan. They are large and beautiful dogs, with deep, rich pigmentation on the majority of them. West German show line German Shepherds are required to be fully fit, with health clearances for their hips and elbows required before they can mate and pass on their genes. Females should weigh no more than 22 to 32 kilograms, while males should weigh no more than 30 to 40 kilograms. Because of their excellent temperament and protective nature, they can make excellent family pets. And despite being in the show line, they are not lazy and require a lot of exercise and training. If you do not consider yourself to be an active person, then German Shepherds of this breed are ideal for accompanying you on walks. Third on the list would be American Show Line German Shepherds. The American Show Line German Shepherds are the most common type of German Shepherds in Canada and the United States and have been popular since the 1970s. The physical appearance of this type is the most distinct among German Shepherds as they are the result of the combination of many bloodlines. Thus, you may notice that they have a larger build and shorter heads and muzzles. They are large, heavy dogs with more angulation and thinner bones than other breeds. They are generally taller and longer than other types, and they come in a variety of colors including solid black, solid white, black, and tan saddle. Their coats are typically lighter in shade. German Shepherds from the American Show Line are generally calmer and have less drive. They are extremely active but have low strength, making them not that ideal for protection or law enforcement. However, they make great family pets. In comparison to the working lines, they are very obedient and excellent at herding sheep. 
This type is prone to health problems such as hip problems and skin allergies. Number 4 is the East German DDR Working Line German Shepherds. Going east, the East German DDR Working Line German Shepherds are graceful, sturdy dogs with long coats. DDR is an abbreviation for Deutsche Demokratische Republik, which is in East Germany. German Shepherds of this breed are primarily used in military and search and rescue operations. They are used for border patrol and have excellent tracking and attacking abilities. They have large heads, broad shoulders and slightly slanted backs, as well as strong bones. The East German DDR Working Lion has the darkest coat color of any German Shepherd variety. The majority have black sable or sable colored coats, but they can also be solid black, which is extremely rare. German Shepherds from the East German DDR Working Lion are reserved and defensive. They can work in harsh conditions and have incredible endurance, which allows them to be productive even on long work days. In terms of breeding, very strict breeding standards are imposed on this type. They can only breed if they are physically fit and do not have hip dysplasia. Puppies are tested early on to determine bone structure based on temperament. Hip dysplasia can occur if the hip joints do not fit properly. Last but not least, the Czech Working Line German Shepherds. German Shepherds of this type, as the name suggests, originated in Czechoslovakia and were bred as working dogs. They are described as graceful and devoted German Shepherds. They have strong desires, large jaws and broad shoulders. They have extreme working drives due to their Czech ancestors. And the majority are intense, agile working dogs. Their coats are also darker in color and have a slightly less sloping back. They are typically uniform in color, such as wolfish gray, black and dark brown. Their ears are also slightly smaller than those of the other four German Shepherd breeds. The Czech Working Line, like the East German DDR Working Line, has strict breeding standards, which is why their health is maintained. German Shepherds of this breed are ideal for chasing, patrolling territories, protecting and search and rescue missions. The Czech Working Lines have fewer behavioral issues and a more relaxed temperament than the other four, making them excellent companions as family pets. So there you have it, the five different types of German Shepherd breeds as well as their characteristics and traits. Whether they belong to the show line or the working line, German Shepherds are generally fantastic and loyal dogs. No German Shepherd wants to be a couch potato. They are not laid back even though some of them belong in the show line. They are usually at their happiest when their owners are not as relaxed as they are. Shepherds love to have a job to do and love to satisfy their owners, which is why spending time exercising and training your Shepherd will make a difference of night and day. You can check out the best online dog training course in the description below to help build that bond with your German Shepherd. Which line and type you choose should be determined by the goal you want to achieve with your German Shepherd. Comment below your favorite German Shepherd breed. Hope you enjoyed the video and here is another awesome video for you to check out on this awesome breed. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.